actually all you need to do is just relax completely. And the only place that you have the opportunity to relax completely is, is right here and right now, with your current perception, with your current stream of data. That's your opportunity. So it, it's so simple. And yet the habit to try and complicate it is one that I'm very familiar with. And um, what is amazing for me is to see the results of really leaving everything exactly as it is. And um, I was thinking about the question about anger, but also in my own experience about um, feeling nervous and an issue, I mean, I, until I'd come to this training, I had never, ever spoken in public, ever. And so to come and stand or sit in front of people and to talk about something, you know, while you're sitting in your chair, you know, there's all kinds of, of, of data, all kinds of feelings and nervousness and the mouth goes dry and all, all of these different experiences. And it is amazing just to allow everything to be exactly as it is. What happens in doing that is that the experience is transformed from being something that is somehow a threat or something you've got to manage or work at and um, trying to manage not feeling nervous when you've got to speak in front of lots of people. My experience was impossible. It didn't matter how calm I thought I was and the moment I had to go up you know it was completely unpredictable what I was going to think or feel or and so to allow myself to feel that nervousness was to allow it to be exactly as it was and it's amazing what happens when you do that because that experience immediately opens out immediately you recognize instinctively and directly that it is actually nothing but the dynamic energy of open intelligence. It doesn't have a nature separate or apart from open intelligence. There isn't something called nervousness out there that can get me. It's just open intelligence shining forth as nervousness. And the same thing applies to whatever we're experiencing. We've learned to describe our experiences, our feelings, our thoughts, and sensations in different ways. So there's a set of descriptions that we've learned to associate with a, a label called anger, for example. Um, perhaps when you're feeling flush in the cheeks and um, the legs start to go wobbly and you know the throat constricts and there's this, all this heat in the body and you, you had to learn to describe that as anger. You weren't born knowing that that was called anger. It was through your parents or your peers or your teachers telling you, you know, you mustn't be angry, stop being so angry, you know, calm down. And slowly you kind of worked out that, well, okay, that, that must be anger then. And for me with anger, it, it really took a while before I could leave anger to be exactly as it was, even for a short moment. And the four mainstays of Balance View are the support network that do make gaining confidence in open intelligence and tapping into this beneficial potency easy. So the first instruction of allowing everything to be exactly as it is sounds like a huge, I mean, I've got so much. How, would, you know, how can I allow all of that to be exactly as it is? But that is coupled with the first of the mainstays, which is for short moments, repeated many times. So I don't have to allow everything, all of it, and my whole life and everything I will think, have thought and am thinking to be exactly as it is, it's just one short moment at a time. I can relax completely and allow the flow of data just to be exactly as it is. Uh, and that was great for me because that was manageable. You know, I did just for one short moment and then I'd forget again and be off in the story about what was going on and judging the way I was thinking and you know, criticizing other people. and but then to bring myself back and to repeat the short moment allowed me to see in my own experience that open intelligence never went anywhere. There wasn't any description that occurred anywhere other than within this vast expanse of open intelligence. And slowly things began to open out and there was a, a spaciousness around experiences that before just felt totally constricting and, and difficult and challenging. But anger was a really powerful um, 
certainly for me and for most people that I've met, it's a really powerful, you know, experience that everything is, is on fire when you're angry. And, um, yeah, I've said before, but I, I've, I've got um, a couple of friends that they think that Balanced View is an anger management program because of the difference that they've seen in me <laughs> through my involvement. And it hasn't, that change hasn't come about through me thinking about anger or working out the causes or trying to resolve any of that. It's come through this experience of allowing anger to be exactly as it is, even for a short moment. And at the beginning, that was just impossible. No way. Anger? I'm angry. I am angry. You know, you have pissed me off. I am angry. And, um, but what happened gradually was that through practicing short moments, um, whenever it was easy for me, then slowly that possibility effortlessly came about. But it came about through the whole of the support. So short moments were one of the four mainstays and were really powerful, amazing to practice wherever you are. But then the rest of the support, the community, the global community, hearing other people's experiences of what happened when they allowed anger to be as it was, or when they allowed nervousness to be as it was. And through hearing other people's experience, that clarified my experience. It gave me the inspiration and the courage to maybe test it out for myself and see what happened. And um, the experience of seeing people going through very challenging circumstances and just remaining completely open-hearted throughout it was, it was just amazing for me to see that practical real-life demonstration of what it means to see somebody who's assured in open intelligence. It gave me that glimmer of hope that maybe this is something that I can do too. They, they seem to be a, a kind of normal person like me and they're doing it. You know, maybe I, I can do that too. Um, so there's the community, the practice of short moments, the written trainings and the training media on the website. And the website's just full of free media. And to hear the nature of reality expressed in a clear, direct explicit way, it, 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 for me it was unavoidable when I heard it expressed in a way that was just direct and unerring and simply stated the way that things were again and again and again, it, it was like the lights were going on. and I, I couldn't avoid recognizing this truth and regardless of the, the data or the experience that came up or ideas about balanced view or myself or all of these ideas, this, this, this truth expressed so precisely and profoundly, it, it was just like being sucked towards this giant magnet. I, I wanted more. You know, I, I wanted to know this. This is what I'd been looking for for the whole of my life. And here it was, just being freely offered. And so by listening to these talks, by hearing the nature of reality expressed in these very clear and powerful ways, it, it ignites this recognition. And that was my experience. Each time I listened to a talk, that obviousness of open intelligence just got brighter and brighter. Um, and then the fourth mainstay is the trainer or the trainers. And um, we're just people that have basically decided to live the four mainstays lifestyle and really dedicate our lives to sharing this training for the benefit of all. And the trainer is somebody that can also make it much, much easier. So when there's the tangle of data, the tangle of ideas and feelings and confusion about anything that's going on, you can be in contact with a trainer and they can just clarify it so simply from a, a, a clear perspective by sharing their experience. And it, it's amazing how somebody that isn't caught up in your tangle of data can just see through it so simply and so easily and then empower you to do the same. So there is this support network and the support network when taken all together makes it easy and effortless to gain confidence. And, and that was my experience. There's no way that I could have done this on my own. And the reason I know that is because I tried. Um, so I tested that out and it was, it was difficult. I had some success, short moments worked sometimes and listening to the talks definitely evoked this recognition but um, it was still fleeting, if you like. With the four mainstays lifestyle, it, it, 
open intelligence, it just pervades everything. It pervades all aspects of your life in the way that your mind already pervades all aspects of your life. It's just the obvious recognition of that that grows brighter and brighter. And so it doesn't have to be really difficult. And what happens is things like nervousness and anger and these really powerful um, emotions or data streams become available for us to use as beneficial energy. So the perspective to take is one of complete open-heartedness and openness of perception and not any contrived ideas about how we need to be or behave in any circumstance. Not try to, try to control or adopt any perspective. And they, those perspectives can be very subtle, particularly when we're hanging out with an amazing group of people and the relating is so beautiful and open-hearted. So we don't need to try and contrive being nice we remain completely open and in that way we have access to seeing what will actually be the most appropriate and beneficial way for us to relate in that circumstance without any agenda, anything at all. So without trying to be nice but also seeing that um, we can allow our anger to be exactly as it is after a little while, a little practice and to see that that incredible energy is then available for us to address the situation in a very clear and direct way. The anger doesn't take us down. Instead, we utilize that same power, because that's all it is, it's power, it's energy, to speak very directly and very clearly in a way that is of immediate benefit and has great authority. So all of these things that we've learned to describe in negative ways become transformed, transmuted, to their beneficial counterparts. And this applies with all data. And we get to know ourselves, we get to know everything about ourselves from this, this vantage of complete openness. And to see that there's nothing that we need to be afraid of anymore, neither nervousness nor anger, nor other people's reactions. We become masters of data rather than these victims to everything that we're thinking or feeling or sensing or other people are saying or doing. Total open-heartedness, just one short moment at a time and utilising the rest of the support to really empower that and to ensure that we have that recognition in all aspects of our life, in all circumstances.